I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that was all started by a mouse. Liar. For those who don't know, Walt Disney began making cartoons all the way back in 1921, well before everyone's favorite rat and trousers hit the scene. He started by creating shorts for his local theater before going Hollywood and creating the Alice comedy series, a series that follows the misadventures of a live action girl named Alice and a cat named Fila, I mean Julius, which is its own rabbit hole. But today I wanted to go down the lucky rabbit hole. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit was Disney's next series after they had ended the Alice comedy series due to how expensive it was to make, but it was also Disney's last cartoon series before the creation of PETA's worst enemy. It lasted for 27 shorts before being taken away from Disney after he requested a higher budget from producer Charles Mintz. Thus, Disney and co needed to create a new character in series, which, of course, was Mickey Mouse. Today I want to look at the 27 Disney Oswald cartoons and look at their production, the mysteries of the 8 lost shorts, and review and rank the 19 surviving shorts. Starting with... Okay, so this wasn't the first one to be released, but it was the first one to be created. Similar situation to Mickey Mouse's Plain Crazy and Galloping Gaucho shorts. This was the test pilot for the series, and it wasn't received very well by Universal executives, who expected a more Charlie Chaplin-style character like Felix the Cat. But instead, Oswald was this old guy. The short was assumed to be lost until three copies were found in the UK in the 2000s, and it was released by Disney in 2015. As for the short itself, it features Oswald trying to take care of a bunch of bunny babies. Get it? Cause rabbits? Cause get it? I will say, if you personally don't like the style of old school loose plots with simple characters strung together by ridiculous gags, then you won't like this short or the rest of the series for that matter. Me personally, I love this style. There's really not much to say about this short quality wise. This one is entertaining, even if the ending gag is extremely obvious. I also don't mind our protagonist being an old loser. It really helps him stand out against the countless Felix clones of the period, but alas, it was never meant to be. The idea for this short was also reused for the Mickey Mouse short, Mickey's Nightmare. Expect to hear me say stuff like that a lot. Top of the list so far, but it's the first short, so that's bound to change. And no, I'm not doing a tier list or giving it a number rating because that's very hard to do with a series for me. This was the real first short of the series to be released on September 5th, 1927, as it was better received by Universal. Here, Oswald has been retooled to be more in line with the Charlie Chaplin type character the execs wanted. Oswald is a train conductor, taking care of a bunch of bunny children, again. I don't mind this as they're just playing into the fact that he's a rabbit, and it helps distinguish the character. Once again, we just have a setup, a bunch of cartoony gags, then a long action-packed climax at the end. The animation here is absolutely incredible, with large crowds of characters and a good 3D effect. Parts of this cartoon were straight up plagiarized by Hugh Harmon and Rudolph Ising for their 1930 Looney Tunes short, Boxcar Blues, which makes sense as they worked for Disney during the Oswald era and had a hand in the making of this short. The ending gag isn't as funny as Poor Papa's though, so it's going behind it for now, but it's still pretty good and a huge step up in the animation department. This one's a little tricky. The only surviving version is a 1932 reissue that supposedly took out some segments and reordered others. This short is a little more complex in terms of plot than the previous ones. It begins with Oswald picking up his girlfriend Fanny on his bike. A cat needs a ride to school and gets kicked off the bus, so seeing Oswald and Fanny, 
he decides to use a question mark to steal his bike because if he used his tail, that would be ripping off Felix. Oswald eventually gets cucked by this cat and accidentally gets revenge to which Fanny falls in love with him again. What? If I had to compare it to a Mickey short, it would be the barn dance, but they're not that similar other than the main characters being cucked. We took a huge step up in the plot department, though the animation is a lot less ambitious. Still, it's pretty funny, but it's going at the bottom of the list. This is the first Oswald short I ever saw. It was on one of those crappy DVD collections filled with public domain cartoons that my dad bought, and as I got older, I began getting really interested in the history of these cartoons, and looking up stuff about Oswald is how I even found out that Disney made anything before Mickey Mouse. This is also how I got into Lost Media. When I found out some of the Oswald cartoons were lost, it made me really want to see all of them found. So, here I am now. The mechanical cow follows Oswald and his... mechanical cow. Oswald has become a milkman, no doubt as revenge for what happened to him in the last short. Then some thing kidnaps Fanny and we have a chase because that's what this cartoon needed because it's not like they had plenty of funny concepts to play with involving the cow. Also, there's this cannon gag. Yeah, honestly, this is way worse than I remembered. They barely make use of the cow, so this is definitely going at the bottom of the list. This one was also on that DVD. This is a war cartoon. Everyone seems worryingly excited for the war in this shot, jeez. I always thought the kiss goodbye gag was pretty funny. And before you ask, no, they didn't do the obvious gag involving a man with a girlfriend going to war. It was a much more innocent time and I stand corrected. And look who it is, it's Pete. For those who don't know, Mickey Mouse's rival Pete first appeared as Julius's rival in the Alice comedies, and here he'll be Oswald's rival. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Pete was originally a bear and became a cat when he was revamped for Mickey Mouse. Oswald also dies. The end. Anyways, this one's pretty entertaining, but I didn't really notice until this short. The bunny children were only really in the first two shorts. I guess that concept has been abandoned. This one was good, but there's certainly better war cartoons from the period. It's going between Trolley Troubles and O oh Teacher. Here Oswald is a hot dog vendor at a beach before he decides to switch professions and become a lifeguard for some minge. What happened to Fanny's design? Anyways, this spanking a hot dog gag was also reused in the Mickey Mouse short, The Carnival Kid. Not much to say about this one. It's going between O oh Teacher and The Mechanical Cow. It's 1927, planes are cool, so this follows a plane race across the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, that dates this one a little bit, but this short is actually quite significant, however, as it's the first cartoon, as far as I know, to contain the standing midair off a cliff gag. The Then Night Fell gag is also pretty hilarious, definitely one of the funniest gags in the series so far. The ending is pretty anticlimactic, but this is a good one, going between trolley troubles and great guns. And here we have our first Lost short. This is the first appearance of Sadie, or Hortensia, which I am absolutely not calling her, Oswald's new girlfriend. I assume he dumped Fanny and good for him because she was a box of rocks. I'm not sure a different species was the way to go, but whatever. All we have left of the film is this poster, the poster sketch, pencil tests, storyboards, and a script. So basically everything but the cartoon itself. 
Older lost media like this is a lot different from lost media nowadays. You can't just hit somebody up over the internet to see if they have it. There are physical places, usually warehouses and such, where films like this would be stored, and there have been no leads or clues as to where a reel of this short could be located, and it could have been neglected and destroyed. Anyways, never seen it. Going at the bottom of the list. I'm just kidding. Parts of this one are missing, so I can't be too harsh on it. This one was lost until a print was found in 2014 in Norway, of all places. This was actually the first Oswald short to be found after I started getting interested in the series. Anyways, it's the Christmas episode, and Ozzy is Santa Claus delivering gifts to some orphans, who, strangely enough, aren't bunnies, who eventually start a fire. The ending gag is the best one we've had so far. I definitely recommend watching for just that. I'm putting this one between Poor Papa and Trolley Troubles. Right back into Lost Territory. We have nothing but a production script and some story sketch pages. Apparently Oswald is a dirty pig and it's some basic rivalry over a girl slot. Yet another lost short. This time, all we have is a poster sketch and a few drawings that Disney compiled together and released in 2012. Also, the IMDB page has someone spreading misinformation and someone who was misinformed. Lovely. This one is mostly lost. Two minutes were rediscovered in Japan of all places as part of a film titled Mickey Manga Speedy. All we have left is what seems to be a basic chase scene, albeit with some great animation of course. I really can't judge this one and I'm counting it as lost. This one is mostly found like O oh, Teacher in the Ocean Hop but it was lost until it was found in Belgium in 2016. There's not really a plot here, just late gags. We have a crowd of characters here, but it seems that the bunny children are gone for good, and now we have a more diverse set of pals for Oswald. This is also where the chewing tobacco gag in Steamboat Willie originates. The animation is weirdly smooth here. It feels like they were given a higher budget here and took advantage of using more animation cells. It's really good. Yeah, this one's going between Poor Papa and Empty Socks. When you see Africa in a title of a cartoon made before the 1950s, you should be worried. But luckily, there's none of that in here. This one was lost until it was found in Belgium again, strangely, in 2013. Oswald goes hunting in Africa. Also, there's this gun gag again. But I'm so glad this is a lot more wholesome than it could have been. Going between Great Guns and O oh Teacher. This one uses that new Sadie design. I just prefer the cuter design. Oh, it came back and went away again. What the hell? I'm shocked that a Disney cartoon, even one this old, lacks a consistent art direction this badly. Anyways, this one also reminds me a bit of the barn dance due to the rivalry with Pete, but still not as good. Speaking of Mickey Mouse, yet another Steamboat Willie gag originated here with the goat. We also get to see Sadie's father. The short is exactly what you would expect. Pete and Oswald compete for Sadie's affection, but in the end, they both get cucked by this dog guy. Okay, that's pretty funny, but the rest of the short is a slog. Bottom of the list.
Holy crap, the animation just had a huge bump. This short follows Oswald as he repeatedly tries to get into this show. It's pretty funny. Not that much else to say about it. Going between O oh Teacher and All Wet. This is another lost one. Tons of drawings for this short exist, but no poster this time. It just seems to be another damsel in distress cartoon. Moving on. This is another lost one, though plenty of drawings still exist. Oswald is a farmer and he manages his farm with the power of music. Not much else is known. Moving on. They had to have gotten a budget increase after Rival Romeo's. They must have wanted to prevent a situation like the inconsistent Sadie design from happening again. There are bits and pieces of the short missing, but it's not enough to be too noticeable. Oswald is a dirty pig again. Too bad this one is just boring. Going above Rival Romeo's though. <laughs> Here we get to see the formula shook up a bit, as now Oswald and Pete are homeless, and it's pretty funny to see them work together. This is a solid outing, the best one in a while, going at the top of the list. Okay, here's something I need to talk about, and I think that this is the perfect time to. This is a nitpick of mine. Anytime something features anthropomorphic animals but doesn't take advantage of their distinct traits, like, what's the point if they're just basically humans? Sure, they do cartoon character things, but at what point are they doing rabbit and bear things? I mean, they used to play into the rabbit aspect with the bunny children. It's an extremely small nitpick though, because honestly, this is the best short of the series so far. This was probably the best traditional animation you could see at the time, and I only wonder what Disney and co could have done with a bigger budget. Oh yeah. Anyways, this follows Oswald, who is now a brave squire saving Sadie from the castle where she is held by Pete. It's a lot more entertaining than it sounds. I love the gags here, like the cruel gag of the alligator eating the donkey's tail and rubbing it in his face, and Oswald's cockiness, constantly taking a break in the middle of the fight with Pete to kiss Sadie. Good stuff. Top of the list. So, the Lost Media Wiki puts the short Skyscrappers above this, but Wikipedia says otherwise. I know Poor Papa was the first to be produced, and the Lost Media Wiki puts that short first on the list, but Wikipedia puts it right above this short, as it was released then. We'll talk about Skyscrappers later, as I trust Wikipedia more with the release dates, as it has sources for them. Anyways, the Fox Chase follows... Well, a fox chase. This one's pretty simple. Oswald's horse here looks like Horace Horsecollar, which makes sense as they were both created by the same people, obviously. Not much else to write home about here though, except for expanding on what I talked about with the last short. Why doesn't the fox just eat Oswald? Going between the mechanical cow and Ozzy of the Mounted, I don't even know how to do a plot description for this one. I don't think this short even had an idea going into it. Bad stuff just happens to Oswald. That being said, it flows together pretty well for the most part, and the animation is absolutely incredible. They're really outdoing themselves on that front with nearly every short. Going between Trolley Troubles and the Ocean Hop. This one technically isn't lost, we just don't have it. It was rediscovered in 2015, but 
it's never been released, and now I'm wondering if it ever will be released with it going into the public domain, but who knows. This is yet another Christmas episode. It was released in July. Okay. The last of the Lost Cartoons, and it's the usual stick, we got some story sketches and backgrounds. Weirdly enough, this one seems to follow a circus yet again. Not much else to this one, though. Here it is, the last of the Disney Oswald shorts to be released. The Skyscrapper, or Skyscrappers. This short served as the basis for the Mickey Mouse cartoon Building a Building in 1933. It's also where the panty gag from Steamboat Willie comes from. It also appears in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. As for the short itself, eh, it's a fine construction site cartoon that of course has a chase scene at the end, but I think I prefer building a building just a little bit more because Mickey is so entertainingly stupid. <laughs> I was also getting quite tired of the damsel in distress chase scenes. This one's going between Africa Before Dark and O Teacher. Well, that's it. It's not the best series, but there's still some entertainment to get out of it. I feel like the greatest weakness when it comes to Oswald is the fact that it's been imitated so much either by Disney and iWorks themselves or Harmon and Ising with Looney Tunes. The impact sort of wears off, but the influence of the series can't be overstated enough. And I thoroughly enjoyed going on this adventure. I also hope this video sparks up interest again in searching for the remaining lost shorts. Anyways, here's my final ranking of the 19 surviving shorts, worst to best. Comment yours down below, I'd love to see what you guys think. Starting with Rival Romeos, Ozzy of the Mounted, The Fox Chase, The Mechanical Cow, All Wet, Bright Light, O Teacher, Skyscrappers, Africa Before Dark, Great Guns, The Ocean Hop, Tall Timber, Trolley Troubles, Empty Socks, The Old Swimming Hole, Poor Papa, Hungry Hobos, and oh what a night. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you want more classic animation lost media content, check out my video on the lost first animated feature film. I'm gonna go feel some sunshine. I'm out.